welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing y'all into my bathroom and my closet, which is right off the bathroom, to share some organizing tips and ideas with you. So if you love to find out some tips and ideas on just organizing and finding spaces on where to put things in your bathroom and or closet, then I hope that you will stay around, hang out with me, and see what I have to share. Okay, so we're at my bathroom counter. I'm gonna share some things that I keep out on a daily basis and then I will show y'all the underneath cabinet, but I wanted to bring, bring a few products out just to show y'all um, a close up here as well. And then we'll go to the drawer storage. So we will start with in the corner. You may have already seen this piece when I was doing my intro. It is a wicker basket, but it also has an insert in it that's made specifically for these kind of products, for bathroom products. Um, it does have a few hair products I use on it almost a daily basis, and then also my contact lens solution. So I love that I can keep this out in the back corner. It's far enough away from the sink where I won't splatter water on the outside. And then the plastic insert um, is specifically made for these kind of things where it won't run the inside of the basket. So I did want to share that with y'all. I just kind of tuck it in the back corner here behind the soap dispenser. So that sits there. A few more things I keep out on a daily basis is um, my makeup brushes. Um, I love that I can just kind of tuck them in a fun little um, container. The bottom is ceramic but the top is a wicker look. So I did want to share that with y'all. You can find anything that is your style and just tuck your makeup brushes in there. And I keep them in the middle of the counter. And then the other thing I keep out is my little um, basket that holds my essential oils. Since I do use my essential oils, I do love them. So I keep those tucked in here as well. As far as under the cabinet, I've got more items down there. I'll bring the camera down in just a little bit here. But I wanted to share how I store my makeup. I don't have a lot of makeup. This is my daily basis makeup. You can see again, it's just a small little basket and you can use any container that will hold your makeup or even a makeup bag. I used to use the makeup bag and I would just keep it under the counter and pull it out when I, on, when I was ready to use it. But um, I like this because I have this other little drawer piece that I've had for a while. It's just got extra makeup and things in it that maybe I might need to use sometime, but I don't use every day. So I love that it can sit in the cabinet and then I'm able to place the little makeup basket that I use um, on a regular basis on top. So that's another tip. You can find any kind of drawers. I've had all kinds of drawers um, from plastic, basic drawers um, to this one, just small enough for my makeup. Just depends on how big your cabinet is and the style and what you're looking for. So we're now gonna go down to underneath the cabinet and I'm gonna finish sharing what I have down there and then we'll go to my uh, main drawer that I use um, on a daily basis as well. Okay, so now we are at my bathroom cabinet under the sink. I'm going to show y'all how I organize this space. Of course, it all depends on the pipes and what you've got going on down here. So make sure you always measure before you think something will fit. Just remember, it might be too tall or it might be too deep and hit that pipe. So that's just a tip I will share with you. But I did want to um, show you how I have the clear makeup drawer on the bottom here. And then I have my makeup that I would use on a regular basis on top. Makes it easy to grab and put back as needed. There are times I may keep that little basket on top of the counter as well, just depending on how busy we are. But I do love how that um, fits in there and works for my style. And then we're gonna go to the left and you're gonna see another large container. These are the containers I talked about um, in the kitchen video. I don't know if I shared any large ones with y'all in the kitchen video, but I do um, love how they come in different sizes. They are semi-clear. I've been getting them for tar from Target for a while. Um, hopefully they will ca still carry them, but if not, again, you just look around and find what fits your space. You can see how I have my hair tools in here to the left. I don't use the hair dryer a whole lot anymore. I usually let my hair air dry, but my favorite piece is the one in the front. It is a, a styling brush with heat, and I love that thing. I use it on almost a daily basis. So I keep that in front where I can easily access it. And then I will go over here to the right and just share a few more containers, another larger one that just holds some extra things in it for when I need them. And then the smaller one holds some travel size um, items as well. And then you can see in the back my old makeup bag. So that's what I used to use and I'd pull it out on the counter um, with my makeup and use it 
on almost a daily basis. And it actually did sit on top of this as well, but um, I did want to scale down my makeup and just put in it what I needed on a regular basis. So that's why I chose a little small basket, but I still keep that makeup organizer for traveling. So this completes this space and I just wanted to share with y'all and maybe you will get some tips and be able to bring them into your bathroom as well. that I use on a daily basis which is in the middle which you see above the stool but I did want to give some history on our bathroom when we moved in that drawer was not there so to the left under my sink you can see my cabinets that I use which I already shared that space with y'all then to the right is my husband's side with the three small drawers and a cabinet there so just to give some background that small door above the three is one that we shared with our toothpaste and things like that so I had to be real creative and make do um, with that space and organize it as best I could um, in a drawer that we would use on a daily basis. So it's okay to use what you have. Um, you don't have to go add a drawer like I did, but my drawer did come later. I was grateful that we were able to add it and uh, make more space that's more accessible and convenient um, for me. So we're going to zoom in on the drawer. I'm going to go ahead and open it. You're going to see how I organize a drawer that I, I use on a daily basis. You can see my favorite drawer liner on the bottom. Um, it is a matte finish. It's easy to wipe down and clean. And I am able um, to put the items on there and it keeps them from slipping and sliding. That's what I love about that drawer liner. It has a little bit of texture that keeps them from sliding. And then you can see I have um, my favorite uh, semi-clear organizers that I use as well. I showed you all those in the kitchen. But um, you can see how I have my things organized. And also these organizers are nice because they're easy to wipe down. And again, I've been getting them from Target, but um, if you decide to get some organizers, um, see what you have in your home first, or maybe shop around and see if there's a style out there that you like as well. So we're gonna start with just my essentials. You can see I have my toothpaste, um, contact lens, my glasses are back here, some deodorant, hairbrush, little chapstick, and then some hair ties, hair bands as well. So those are some things that I might use often that I keep in this drawer, which is now by my sink. I'm thankful that I have this drawer by my sink and it is easy and convenient to access. So I hope y'all enjoyed that space. And now we're gonna go to my closet and I'll share a few tips in there with y'all as well. in my closet space my husband and I do share a closet it is long and narrow but um, I do have this end and his side is on the other end so I'm going to share some tips with how I organize our closet um, we have over the years gotten pretty good at keeping things organized as best we can um, maybe you have some clothing that doesn't fit anymore or your style has changed maybe some shoes don't fit maybe you have too many and you just don't wear enough of it so just um, look around your closet, maybe go through one section at a time, see if there's anything you can weed out or get rid of, or if you're gonna buy a new item, maybe you can um, replace it with an item in that same category. So those are just some tips on how we keep our closet and we try to keep our entire home decluttered as best we can. It's not always easy, but as best we can. So I just wanted to share, and now we're gonna go ahead and look at some of my dresser space. You can see I have, um, a specific dresser I did look around for this piece for a long time and we have a local furniture shop that sells some unique furniture pieces at um, a reasonable price so I was able to find this to fit this space perfectly and I love how I can make this my own you can see how I have my jewelry on top with some headbands as well so I've got that pretty organized and it's just fun to kind of have that little space of your own so now I'm going to go ahead and just show y'all some of my dresser drawer space and some other areas in the closet. Okay, so now I'm going to share some tips and ideas on how we organize our dressers. These specific bins I have found at Ikea over the years. 
Um, if you don't find this specific style, you may find a similar style. Um, you can also shop other places as well or even online. So I love these because they're lightweight, they're thin, and um, they're just a nice neutral color. And they do um, help organize the drawers. And what I like is I can just place one in the drawer even if it's in the center and then have spaces on both sides just to um, put like items as well. But I'm going to show you how in this specific one I have some socks. And then um, here's a smaller one that just has some swimsuits. You can see how that's organized. And there's even um, a larger one. So they do come in all different sizes. So now I will bring the camera in a little closer and share some of the close-ups of the drawer spaces. Now I'm going to share some of the drawer space with y'all. So I'm going to show you how this is my pajama drawer. And you see how I just have one narrow organizing bin here in the drawer. It keeps it simple. Um, I don't have to put a bunch of organizers in there, but if you wanted to, you could. On one side, I have my shirts that I wear. And on the other side, I have my pajama uh, pants. And those are some additional pants in the middle. So you can see how placing one simple organizer in the drawer creates multiple spaces that you can put like items together and that you're able to find them easily as well. And you notice how I just kind of gently um, fold and roll mine up. That way I'm able to see everything I have um, versus when you stack them, you're not able to see all of them. So that's one drawer. Now we're gonna go to the next drawer below it. So this drawer is just a kind of a casual drawer. It does have some tank tops on this side with some shorts. And then these two small bins have some swimsuits that match. And then there's more swimsuits over here. So again, you notice how I just used uh, two smaller bins to uh, make like a divider in the drawer. And then it keeps like items together and um, you're able to find things easily as well. And I just kind of gently rolled my tank tops. I don't have a whole lot, but I just kind of keep them there um, with my shorts as well. So now I'm on my husband's side of the closet and I wanted to share a drawer space that's an extra drawer for him. You can see how it has winter items in it. We do live in Texas, so we don't have as long of winters as some people do, but um, when it gets cold here, it can feel uh, pretty cold. So I did want to share how you can see the larger organizing bin here. See how it's pretty roomy. It does hold a lot of items. I'm able to place some hats in there, and then I've got gloves in the other one. And then this one is not one of the organizing bins I've been sharing, but it's just one I happen to have, and I was able to use it in this space, and it has some of the warm headbands in it as well. And behind it, I was able to place, place some additional items. So I wanted to show you how you can have multiple organizing bins or just one, depending on the drawer space and what you need for that drawer. Now I'm gonna share some more organizing tips from my closet with y'all. You can see how my clothes, um, I try to put like items with like items. And then at the top, we do have some organizing bins that um, we're able to keep storage up there as well. So I'm going to bring y'all in a little closer to my clothes. Um, I have mostly capris in this area um, or ankle jeans here or summery kind of jeans as well. And then I come over to where I have my t-shirts. Then on the other side here, I do have some other like uh, denim casual shorts and then um, more uh, jeans here as well. I'm a jean kind of girl. I do love jeans. I did separate where I have some more jeans down here. You can see how I rolled them and kept the pockets on the outside so I can see what I have. And then some leggings up here. And I didn't have to have the baskets there. I could have hung them up, but I just kind of like um, having those separated. And here's another one of the um, Ikea organizing bins. I don't have a lot of sweaters, but I keep a couple of sweaters there. And then at the bottom, you're going to see more jackets and long sleeves and some dressier tops as well. So that's kind of how I organize that space. And then I already shared my dresser space with y'all, but I'll come in closer and share the headbands and the jewelry. I don't have a lot of jewelry. I try to keep it pared down, but I do love jewelry. So I have it in there as well. And then over here are my purses. These are actually my go-to purses that I might use on a regular basis. Um, I love that I was able to hang the hooks up there. There's a whole nother bar up there. I could hang more clothes on this side but I like to keep it pared down. So I just wanted to share that. And then I'm gonna show you um, how I organize the rest of my purses with some backpacks and our shoes. So 
So now I'm going to share our shoe storage. They are on shelves. You can see that I have a lot of sandals. I do love sandals. I'm going to share that with y'all. And then at the bottom, you're going to see my husband's shoes. Um, he doesn't have as many, so he's fine keeping his down there. And then in the middle, I kind of have these um, organizer bins that are also shoe bins. I used to keep them on the floor stacked with items in there, but now I'm able to place them in the shelves. So that's our shoe storage. And then at the top, I have more shoes. I do love my Uggs, some boots, and purse storage. And of course, my backpacks. And the basket that you see here is actually, it has um, extra wallets in it. Again, that's an idea just to um, have storage and put all your wallets in a basket. And then more um, purses, backpacks, and luggage at the top. So that completes me sharing organizing tips and ideas with you from our bathroom to our closet. I was able to give y'all some tips on some countertop storage that is not only functional but can be decorative too, whether it be baskets or bins. And then I did share our cabinet underneath, or my cabinet underneath, so you can see how I organize it, as well as the main drawer that I use in our bathroom. So I hope you were able to gain some tips and ideas um, from me sharing in our bathroom. And then on to my closet. Um, I did share some ideas on how we organize our drawers that maybe you could bring into your own home. And those tips could be used in other parts of your house as well. And then I shared um, how I organize my clothes with like items, as well as the top storage where we have additional storage, and then our shoes and some extra purses. And I showed y'all how I kind of create my own space with my own dresser and I have my jewelry on top as well. So this is one of my favorite places in my closet. Um, I do love all the things like shoes and clothes and purses, but my husband and I have learned to keep things down to where we keep what we would mostly use. And that way you can also find things easier and enjoy it as well. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope you will like it. Give me a thumbs up. Come back for more and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.